Hey everybody, it's Geekopolis here. So I just wanted to do kind of like a rant style video before uh, the Rise of Skywalker. So uh, that's pretty much all this will be, just me kind of going through different things and discussing with whether it be the process of how this movie came out, um, discussing a bit of little leaks and stuff, just, you know, things like that. So first I'll talk about some of like the controversy leading up to the film, and then I'll talk about the film itself. So, let's see. The Last Jedi left fans, let's say, mixed about where the future of this franchise is headed, and the confidence they had in Disney to bring a sufficient ending. An ending that'll be acceptable to both the hardcore fans, people that didn't like the last movie, and people that did like the last movie. You know, casual people, and pretty much everybody to be happy with what they get. That was bogged down by a few different things. One, they didn't stop doing reshoots until about a month before the movie was to be released. That's a bad sign. So, if you're not confident enough in your movie to be finished with it, so close to when it's supposed to be premiered, that means that the product is not good. It has defects that is going to lower the quality of that product. If I work in a factory, and a certain good gets to the end of the, the, the production line. And it's not up to code. There was something wrong well before it got to that point. Now, you could of course go back and try and fix it. But, the fact that Disney and all its money and all its marketing and all its power is in this much of trouble with the movie is telling of how bad it probably is. Two, the test screening debacle, where J.J. swears that, 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 it, that didn't happen. I'm going to choose to believe it did, but if you don't, that's fine. For those who don't know, there was apparently several different cuts and re-edits of this movie to make it more palatable to audiences. The Kathleen Kennedy version, a JJ version, an Iger version, and even a Lucas version, which the Lucas version apparently scored the highest with the audiences and managed to do quite well. I don't know if he could have actually saved it, but if anybody could, it would have been George. Uh, I'm a big fan of the prequels. I think that people get over are over critical of them. They have their faults, of course. But, compared to the Disney movies, they're a masterpiece. And, in general, I think they're very, they're very, very good. Episode 3 is one of my favorite movies of all time, personally. But, I, I digress. However, the version that we're getting, at least from what uh, the leaks are telling us, and I'm going to get to the leaks in a minute, is not George's version. And I can't confirm that in any way, but I'm going to go on a limb and say this is net, not at all what George would have done. You could say he makes some pretty stupid decisions, and I'll stipulate that in certain instances, maybe. But, uh, no. No, no, no. This is far beneath what Lucas can do. So, this is definitely the Kathleen version. Or, maybe it's, it's Abrams. One of the two. Either way... It's it's going to be bad, which I don't know why they picked this. I'm assuming that Kathleen picked her own little version of this because she knows her story is done after this. Like, she, she's gone. There's no way that they're going to keep her after this. So, with that being the case, she probably was like, fuck it. I'll just give him this shit. So, it's kind of like kicking the door on your way out just to be an asshole. That's what this feels like to me. Because if they were serious about making a product that everybody would like, it's not that difficult 
it's really not. I plan on doing a series once um, this movie comes out, a rewrite of the entire sequels. Um, they're probably going to be a few hours long, each video. Um, but just to prove that, yeah, it's you can do it. It's not difficult. And I'm going to try and stick to as close as the ideas that they were trying to put in there, like some, some certain characters, you know, like Luke kind of being in exile with things with Kyle. I'm going to try and keep that as much as, as much as I can. But for that, I'm going to pretty much rewrite them. I'm going to be adding totally new characters, fixing the motivations issue, and I want to put just just to just because Disney wouldn't. I want to put in some nice fan service. Hopefully, it'll be a nice little series of videos that I do. But I'm just so sick and tired of them. Like, well, you know how hard it is to write these movies. It's Star Wars. It's hard. No, 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 no. It's not that hard. You have an established universe. I'm writing a book right now. I don't have anything to base it off of. So it's much harder for me than it would be to, say, build off somebody else's work. If somebody gave me, like, I don't know, Lord of the Rings or something, or uh, A Song of Ice and Fire, and they said, here, I continue this. All I would have to do is read the books, make notes of where things are in lore, and adhere to it. Can be consistent with what that is. It's not that difficult to write a Star Wars movie. They're full of shit. I'm sure it's difficult with Kathleen Kennedy breathing down your neck and the, you know, the, the agenda that they're trying to push there. Maybe that is what they're talking about. And that, yeah, I could I'll stipulate. That's probably difficult. But these bullshitters and shills and people who just want to absorb any movie that they see and, oh, it's good, it's good, it's good, it doesn't matter. It's fine, I had fun. I don't give a shit if you had fun. Um... I told myself I wasn't going to rant, but I guess here I am. Anyways, to the leaks. <sighs> They're essentially been all but confirmed at this point. The premiere has happened, and it's essentially confirmed everything. I mean, Palpatine, yep, he's back, fully in the flesh. How'd he survive? Eh, who cares? <sighs> God. They're never going to address the whole light ship Light speed, whatever maneuver that Haldo did. Of course, they're not. I didn't figure they would. Um, so when they do their big space battle in the end, with the Death Star tech Star Destroyer stupid things, because you know what's better than a super mega Death Star? A bunch of Death Star fleet weapons. I'm like, oh my god, JJ, for fuck's sake. I think he, he he must be trolling. Like he must be trolling at this point. Like it's like a meme that he just he just puts bigger and he just thinks better. Ugh, God's sakes. Fucking dog shit movie is gonna make me have a fucking headache. Anyways. <sighs> yeah, so Ray is the granddaughter of Palpatine. He is responsible for her parents' death, and they left her on Jakku for her own safety. Um, I'm trying to think of all the leaks that, that just really pissed me off. She has new force healing powers, which I understand are in lore in certain cases of like the extended universe and such. Uh, the difference with that being is that she just gets it, where they worked years on developing this. Because the force is something that you train with, you develop, you can do new things with. Like Plagueis and Sidious, they created life with the Chosen One, Anakin. Something very different, very unique, very powerful. They have Force Lightning, they have Force Healing is an actual attribute, but I don't think she trained for it. I think I'm pretty sure, actually, I'm entirely certain that they're just going to give it to her. Um, obviously, push, pull, mind tricks, uh, even fire is, is another you know, use of the Force. You know, force fields. Um, there's a lot of the force you can do. I'm pretty sure even in some cases you can, like, levitate with it for a little bit. In very obscure references. I'm, I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure that, that is another thing you can do. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Gr help growing, like, vegetation, I think, was another one that was really weird i seen. But yeah, tons of applications. And I don't have a problem with it being expanded. 
if you make it something that's well explained. You say, okay, I've been working on this for years and I'm, just, I'm slowly starting to get this and I think I found a way to do it. That's fine. But just throwing things in there because you can is stupid. Anyways. Yeah. And to me, the most ridiculous thing that's going to happen in this whole movie, besides obviously Palpatine returning, I want to talk about that first actually before I talk about the, this retarded thing I'm going to mention in a minute. Palpatine returning completely undermines everything. It makes everything that came before irrelevant. Anakin sacrifice doesn't mean shit. Luke saving the galaxy from the Emperor didn't fucking matter. It is a spit in the face of every fan of this franchise. And it pisses me off. I'm going to get angry every time I see Palpatine on the screen because he's fucking dead. He died. The Empire fell because you took out its head and it could not sustain itself without his vision. Not to mention, he did ultimately try to sacrifice his, or the Empire because he doesn't believe it should run without him or something or other. I remember that being another part of his motivation and why it failed. Essentially, the Rebels had won, though. They took out the second Death Star and the leader. With other greatest strengths... And, of course, Vader as well. They ended up falling. Why, then, if Palpatine's back and he survived the Death Star, why why didn't he just say, hey, uh, guys, uh, not dead, uh, we're going to keep this empire going because I already have the infrastructure and the ships and everything done? And the only reason I was even defeated was because, well, my apprentice threw me down a shaft when I literally wasn't paying attention. I'm going to go fight this Luke guy and see if I can kill him. Because, yeah, Palpatine was still pretty fucking strong. I'm, I'm not sure if he could have beaten Luke. Um, maybe, probably. I mean, he was very skilled with the lightsaber. Even more so than Vader was. And he had Force Lightning. He, had, he was extremely powerful in the Force. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he could have took Luke. But no, he goes into hiding for some reason. All he would have had to do, do is go face Luke himself, kill him, and say, Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm still here. I just took out this guy that was the last threat to me. Let's just keep ruling. I'm already in control. And that would have been it. But no, he goes into hiding for some reason and builds a giant fleet with abducted children or whatever. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, but Palpatine's back, so it makes everything... Uh, pardon me, from the originals makes everything from the originals useless irrelevant and makes Disney canon the only thing that matters and that's their entire fucking goal but I must continue because I can talk about this point forever because it really does bother the shit out of me Luke's character assassination pissed me off and it really aggravates me still but this is this to me is worse because they're essentially not just getting rid of what he once was. They're gutting everything he did. Ugh, one last fuck off, I guess. Just just showing utter disrespect to the characters. Raylo. That's happening. A lot of people on YouTube that I watch. I remember a lot of them saying, there's no way it can happen. I never believed it. I always thought, they are, they are that stupid to do something that is utterly ridiculous as this. And they did. There they are. In this movie, Ray dies, defeating Palpatine because she gets, I believe, crushed by some rocks. Well, Kylo comes in, after being just batted away by Sidious. Mind you, Ray stood her around, of course, and killed him. Gives his life for her. And they kiss. Now, 
I just, I don't even know what to say with this one. Like, a lot of times I can just rant about how stupid something is, if I think it is so. Or how great something is, if I think it's fantastic. I'm utterly speechless, because... It, to me, it, you can make it... You can make it make sense by stretching the ever-loving shit out of every moment we had with them. But you really gotta put in some headcanon work to make this even understandable. Like, this is so stupid. Everything in this movie is just fucking awful. I was gonna say, it's like it was written by a, by a moron, and I'm like, oh, it was. JJ. The guy can't write worth shit. He takes properties, fucks them up, and then goes on to the next one. I don't know why he keeps getting hired. Probably because he keeps making money. Because he, again, is working with other people's products. He doesn't need to build one up from the ground up. He just can, you know, take whatever the hell other people have, you know established and put time and effort into making into something actually decent and just use that. Why create your own work when you can just piggyback off other people? It's such a shame, it really is. But, uh, yep, so Raylo's happening, Ka Palpatine is gonna get killed by Ray, because of course he is. And the only leak that I have not confirmed yet, and I'm at this point just hoping they do it, just, just do it. Because why the fuck not? All the Jedi Force ghosts come to Rey and tell her how awesome she is. And she, in the end, takes the name Skywalker. Fuck. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. It's gonna be awful. I'm gonna be seeing it on Thursday. My review will be up Friday or Saturday. Uh, I'll probably do a quick reaction, and then I'll do like a more in-depth video. But yeah, that's me just ranting about this dog shit that's going to be coming up. Uh, please, I'm really, really interested in knowing uh, what you all think in the comments if you've made it this far in the video. Um, also, a like and uh, subscribe would be fantastic. But uh, that's all I really have to say. I am looking forward to this movie. I hope, uh, hope all you are too. And the glorious content that will come from it. Anyways, geek up, let's...